Hi everyone, welcome back to Chosco. Today we are going to review a game that I received as a game review request. This game was sent by Nahuel, who is from Argentina. He is 6Q on the OGS and his opponent is 4Q. It's an even game and Nahuel is black. Black starts with a star point and a 3-4 point. And white starts with a star point and a 5-4 point. Black takes the top side with the approach and extension. Then white approaches the bottom right corner. Black chooses the basic Joseki. And here white makes the short extension, which is the first mistake in this game. The 3 space extension is correct move. And AI says white could also play the encroacher move in the bottom left corner. It's an interesting analysis, even for me, because taking the right side looks too big for black. However, AI thinks that white is fine by taking the 3-3 point, like this. In Sente. And jump out here. The 4 stones of white are coming out towards the center. And they're kind of limiting the influence from the black moyo on the top and right side. If black plays the bottom side next, after the sente, white plays lightly like this. It's a sort of new concept to me, but it seems possibly playable. Back to the real game, the two spaces are narrow extension again, and black makes the enclosure for the top right corner. Here, the approach to the bottom left corner is more urgent than the enclosure in the real game because there is much more potential on the left side than the right side. Also, Black could get a sente from the joseki that would occur in the bottom left corner, which means Black could take the right side even later. Continuing the real game, White takes the bottom side by the extension, but that was also wrong direction. The corner and crochet in the bottom left corner is most urgent move now. Also, the value of bottom side is smaller because of the A stone. Now, it's hard for white to expect to gain more from the bottom side because of the complete group of black in the bottom right corner. Here is one principle to keep in mind. It's always not a good idea to approach close to a strong stone or group of your point, except for some special cases because you most likely have no proper follow-up or profit. You'll be a burden instead. Continuing the real game, Black approaches the bottom left corner and White responds with the Joseki move, which is all good. Here White makes the knight move to create a wall, but it was not a good idea because the wall is going to be devalued by the A stone. Here, this shoulder hit is more proper move for white. Black would come out with the diagonal move, and white makes the knight move. If black pushes from this side, white naturally makes the bottom side territory by jumping. If black extends again, white can tenuki and take the left side. This push and cut doesn't work for black by the Atari and block. And back here, if black pushes from this side, white makes the knight move, forcing black to come out with the diagonal move, and defend the left side. If black invades like this next, white is fine by this slide. White is happy taking both the bottom and left side. Continuing the real game, black makes the knight move, and white pushes, and pushes again to build a wall. And here, this cap was too early for black to do. I guess black wanted to reduce the bottom side moyo, but it wasn't worth it. Black should have taken the left side like this, and let white expand the bottom side. After making the sente, black reduces further from the wall like this. Here white has to attack with the cap, and black is fine by jumping in with one space. Even if white keeps attacking, black plays safely and lightly like this. 
Mixentes. Ample can easily make twice. Back here, if fight defense instead, black just Tenuki taking the big move in the top left corner. If white attacks the A stone with the cap, black can treat it lightly like this. Black gives it up and take the big move in the top right corner. White didn't gain much from the attack and black's top right corner and top side is even bigger than white's center. So back to the real game. The cap was too early for black again. And white makes the knight's move to attack. And black jumps to space, which is good. White peeps next, and black responds with the diagonal move. This exchange is bad for white, because now there is a cutting point left in white's shape at A. It was an unnecessary exchange for white. White hits the head of two stones, which is the biggest move on the board. And black cuts off white right away. The cut is a good idea for black because black will be able to get some helpful sentence after the cut. White blocks and extends. Black connects and after the push, white also connects. Here this wedge is unnecessary for black because black loses the initiative. Here black should have made the one space jump to build up strength. So after the block, white makes the one space jump to protect the cutting point in center. But after black blocks, this one space jump is a big mistake, losing the initiative. If white extended instead, black has to answer and white would be able to get the center and play the big move. Black has to respond to save the corner group and White continues with the push. Now it's like Black lost one move. In the real game, White loses the initiative and Black gets to build up strength with the one space. This is Sente. Now Black is completely settled down. White invades the top side and Black responses with the kicking move. The kicking is fine, but I would prefer the iron pillar which is more solid. White would make the one space and black would answer like this. It's much easier way. One thing about the kicking with the large knight chain crusher is that after white extends, there are some strong follow moves for white in the corner, like the A or B. So that's why I would prefer the iron pillar with the large knight chain crusher. Continuing the real game, White responds with a diagonal move, which is a dubious move. For the reason that I just said, this extension is better in this situation for white. And in the real game, black plays here to make the tiger mouse, but it wasn't a good idea, because the attire is quite painful. Here this knight move is a better move, and if white pushes, now black can make the tiger mouse. Continuing the real game, after the Atari, white makes the tiger smalls. And here this cut is another mistake for black. Now the A stone is not a variable stone, so it's not worth capturing. Instead of the cut, this one space jump or this Atari is more urgent move to play. Back to the real game, white Atari is and makes the knight move. Black Atari is next here. And the connect was too submissive. Here I needs to be more aggressive. Make the sentence like this. And attack the black group. This way, white can take the lead. In the real game, black takes the big move. And this extension is proper move for white in this situation. Black continues with the tiger smalls, but that's also a mistake. This tiger mouse is better for black to take the diagonal move. Later, the A point feels really good for black to play next. 
And here, white also should have played this extension, which is the crucial key point. In the real game, white takes the top side with the knight's move, but black gets the key point, which is even a sente. While white has to extend here, black takes another sente on the left side. And the top side. Now clearly black is ahead, but here black plays this one space jump which is unnecessary. Back here, this one space is much bigger move that puts black ahead on points. Continuing the real game, white pushes and black extends, which is another move that is hard to understand. I'm guessing that this extension is maybe a misclicked move. Here of course black has to block. And after white takes the stone, black can still get to the right side. Here, this cut doesn't work for white because black can connect here, which is sente. Then black can extend. So after the mysterious mistake, the game has become very complicated. But in the end, black wins by large marginal points. So I'm going to stop here for this game. This was a very good game for middle cube players. I would like to conclude the game by empathizing two things. The first thing is the importance of direction in the opening. Like back here, the corner approach is the most urgent for both fights. And also in this situation, the reduction was wrong direction. The second thing is the importance of sente. In this situation, this wedge was wrong sente that could have cost black the initiative. And here, this one space was the crucial mistake for white not to make the sante. Lastly, in this situation, if I had made the proper sentes, like this, and attack the black group, white could have gained the lead. Making proper sentences is the best way to get ahead of your opponent. You always need to try to search for good sente moves that you can make. So that's it for today. Please send me the SGF file for game review request at the email address, which is in the subtitles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed this video, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel and turn the notification. I would really appreciate it. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.